And now, let's just kind of go around the mouth. Pump in a little more color. Let me go back and start over on that one. Let's merge that one. Now I'm interested in this eye and, and that's one thing that false color helps is when you have very 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 faint differences false color will will uh, diverge those differences and make them uh, stand out a little better and everybody that has good quality images from this film looks for that eye because the eye really should be visible so let me just pump some color now you notice uh, let's just hold on let me just blow this up Okay, now let me. I'm just gonna redo it because I want to make sure that people understand that I'm not drawing an eye in there. Um, so I'll get way out here, like this right here. Okay, and I'll pump some color in there. If every time I click, take a look. Let me back out, uh, merge it, back away. Uh, I think that you'll see that there's quite a bit of detail on here. Uh, number one, uh, look at the size of a, a cross here at this bicep. See, that's, this is the skin right here. That's the skin. That's the armpit curve right there, and that's the bicep right there. And you can see muscles right around in here, in this part right here. This is all skin. This is all skin right in here. Okay. Now, I did the eye. I really should have just done the whole head that way, shouldn't I? But you can do it over and over again. Understand that we're, we're, we're working with a very high-quality image. And, and we're using methods known in astronomy to produce detail from very faint things. Uh, resolution is not the problem here. It's faintness. Uh, so, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. And I can only hope that this... This, this camera will record it but take a look right in there right there and let me just uh, lasso it again I can boost that some more and then you can also Get that mouth area some more. All right. What we want to do is we're not we're not looking for aesthetics right now. We're not looking for balance. We're not looking for correct color. We're introducing false colors so that we can see surface details that we couldn't normally see or, or make out as well. Now, in the very best images, you can see that there's teeth right here, and this is a lip, bottom lip, top lip right here. A couple of crooked teeth that are hanging down at an angle, overlapping each other. Oh, heck, I can do this. You can see them right here. 
Let's see. Maybe that'll make it a little better. At any rate, uh, this detail is on the film, and it has always been there. Let me just back away. And you see, uh, yeah. uh, even though, uh, you know, we've got some, she's modeled looking because of introduction of false color. There's a lot of detail there that you would not have seen or could not have seen if you had not introduced false color. There we go. Now, let me just see if I can zoom in on this. Or maybe I can blow it up uh, here on the screen. See if you see what I see. I hope it's not fuzzing out on you. But uh, right in here. Right in here. Right in here is teeth. Right in here is the eye. These are just, this is such a fabulous image and none of this would be possible if it weren't such a good image in the first place what a huge arm you can do a lot of different things with it with false colors you're not bound to just one particular color uh, pumping in there like that um, and here's an, another one, you know, that I had done. You can see the, the eye in it as well. Teeth. And the humongous bicep. Oh, this. The leg. I mean, gosh, this thing is so, so uh, bulked up. It's very muscular. So, you know, there, there you have it. And, and it, it really, you know... Those are tried and true methods of enhancement that have been used in astronomy, I mean, for years and years and years. Uh, to, you know, you, 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 you get a globular cluster and, and you want to know uh, if, you're, if, if all your stars are of a one particular type, if they're old stars or are they new stars or are they blue or they orange. Or, you know, you introduce a false color in there and if they're all the same type star, they'll all react the same way with that false color when you when you pump it in there but if there is if it's a mix of different type stars you're going to see divergence I mean you're going to see uh, some some go toward a blue some go go to the red you know that type thing some go to the green uh if 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 something is blue and, and you interject if you pump in yellow it's going to end up green you know and green just going to jump out at you the eye can distinguish only just a few, you know, uh, shades of gray. But it, it can distinguish millions, millions of colors. And, and that's the purpose of uh, pumping in color, is so that you can make them react to the color you pumped in. This hair is going to react differently than the skin. You see, that it did. See, the skin turned one tone, the hair turned another tone. Um... So it, it made everything kind of just jump out at you. And, uh, you know, and, and even though it's, it's not aesthetic looking, it's not the true color of the subject. We're not taking a portrait of Patty. We're trying to find out what she is. We're trying to find out what kind of details she has in her little two-dimensional portrait here. And uh, there is an eye there. There is an eye. And there are teeth. 
This right here is film debris. It's not actually on her lip. It's it's on the photo. Here's a little more debris right there. A little more right there. And that's the one I had prepared earlier. Let me just... Then you got this one that we did actually in front of the camera. We kind of made her an orange head. But that don't matter. It's false color. A little greenish arm. Kind of a reddish eyeball. Let me on that again. I thank you for your time.